Hi, I'm Alberto with Let's Play Elections, where we discuss the world of politics and football. Today, we look at an Obama administration decision that would allow about 800,000 young illegal immigrants to stay in the United States. Meanwhile, in the Euro 2012 championships in Poland and Ukraine, many teams have been sent back home. From the Voice of America studios in Washington. The U.S. media are devoting a great deal of attention to President Obama's recent executive order temporarily stopping the deportation of young illegal immigrants. The President of the United States. These are young people who study in our schools, they play in our neighborhoods, they're friends with our kids, they pledge allegiance to our flag. They are Americans in their heart, in their minds, in every single way but one, on paper. But Obama's Republican challenger Mitt Romney said that the right way of solving the immigration problem is not through an executive order, but through congressional legislation. Mitt Romney! I believe the uh, status of young people who come here through no fault of their own is an important matter to be considered and uh, it should be solved on a, on a long-term basis so they know what their future would be in this country. Obama's plan would apply to people under the age of 30 who were born or brought to the U.S. by their illegal immigrant parents who posed no criminal or security threat and were successful students or served in the military. In recent years, Congress has tried to address the immigration problem, but any proposed legislation never finds enough supporters on Capitol Hill. Support is one thing that is not lacking at the Euro 2012 championships. But even the waves of enthusiastic Dutch fans were not enough to save Holland from unusually bad performances and an early exit from the tournament. Some teams, like Russia, started strongly but faded and ended up having to go back home, much to the disappointment of their fans. In U.S. politics, many immigrants who had been disappointed by what they saw as President Obama's failure to do anything about their status are celebrating his decision. So many times we hear, we hear that we're criminals and we're not. But others were quick to criticize Obama. A reporter for a conservative website even heckled the president as he was talking to the White House reporters about the plan. It is the, it is the right thing to do. Excuse me, sir. I, I, it's not time for questions, sir. Arizona Governor Jane Brewer, whose state borders Mexico, was also quick to oppose the new plan, seeing it as a move by the president to gain support in November. It is no coincidence that this sweeping policy change was announced less than five months before a presidential election. As we have seen, the topic of immigration, like football, arouses strong emotions on all sides. Many Euro 2012 fans who had high hopes for their teams are now bitterly disappointed. But there is a saying from the world of politics that perhaps they should remember. In the political arena, there are no permanent victories and no permanent defeats. That is also true of the sports arena. That's all for today. Until next time, keep playing elections.